Hello, Chillins on Facebook. Welcome to Storytime with Varden. My name is Varden M. Frias, and how is everybody doing today? We are uh, going to do some interesting things today. Going to um, try and wiggle around all these crazy things that I have going on right now. I'm just like, <laughs> for a second, I almost thought this stream was not streaming. So, all right. Ah, my fuck things up already. Okay. We're off to a good start on Instagram. So, yeah. Anyway, how's everybody doing? I see Anthony's on. Hello. How are you doing today? That was like a very aggressive greeting. I'm just trying to figure out where I should put stuff. So, yeah, how's it going? How are you? Uh, how are things? I'm uh, trying to get into my uh, my own thing there. Okay, that was majorly confusing. Also, thank you so much, Anthony, for putting your name on there and like giving stream art access to your name that's always good for me i always like seeing people's names um it's convenient for me but it's also really good just um to show everybody else in the audience just in case um people don't know who's who so that's good ruby cool and you got the pants that's great so so today we're going to do a few um i'm going to do something different you know usually I got a, a drink to try, but this time we got something else. Hey, Mary, how's it going? Today, we're going on a culinary adventure. <laughs> all right, so I've never tried these before, all right? So just to let you know, I am a, uh, uh, I like pumpkin stuff, all right? I, I'm wearing a pumpkin shirt, um, but I don't like spicy pumpkin. You know, I, I don't like it where it tastes like the guy in the back of Starbucks dumped a bunch of like hard money and like whatever they put in there inside the cup, like this much of like spice and this much of like the drink. I don't like that. Um, pumpkin to me has a nice smooth flavor. It's very sweet. That's how I like my pumpkin. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to get with this, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that it'll be more sweet. Than spicy because I'm not a huge big fan of the spice. So we'll, we'll see. Today I'm drinking um, also out of my. Oh, that's backwards. Yeah, that'd be left handed for this. So I'm drinking out of my uh, one of my favorite cups. It's for the Instagram people. No one's on Instagram yet, so I'm not too worried about that. So this is also pumpkin spice. It's pumpkin spice coffee. So actually, in a way, I'm save my taste buds for the cookies because I, I'm, I want to go in with a like a clean slate, clean slate palette. You know? I love pumpkin pie. Not too crazy about pumpkin flavored stuff. Yeah, I, that's, I'm the same way. Like pumpkin pie is not spicy. It's more sweet than spicy. It's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of that kick, but not so much where like the pumpkin spice latte where it's like, at least in my experience, there's like way too much spice. They're putting too much of something in it. And I don't I don't know what it is. I think it's like cinnamon or like it's something that like my palate just does not like. It is just way too spicy. <laughs> not spicy, but just, just bitter and weird. I don't know. I want that flavor. So Chris is in here. Cool. Again, I, I can't see the uh, I'm assuming. OK, there it is. I see it. Facebook user. <laughs> All right. Um, it's about five minutes in. I, there's plenty of people. I think I'm going to try it now because, you know, we're past that mark. Hopefully, we'll meet or we'll see this because he likes Oreos. This must be. So. Cool. Say hello. Everybody saying hi. All right. Pumpkin spice favorite clan. I don't know. This is actually these right here in a in a regular pumpkin pie. That's my favorite part of the pie is the actual crust. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with pie crust. Yeah. It's gonna be an exciting stream today.
Um, so who is this? Avi, Avi Morgan, welcome. Um, right now we're actually, um, I'm not doing readings currently because I'm not used to this deck yet. I'm very new to it, so I don't want to mess anybody up. But if you're uh, willing, you can watch me, uh, watch me uh, look at it. Does Jay miss me? Um, I can't answer that. So like with tarot, like answering yes or no questions, you can't really get a full answer on that. Just like in general, I can get out my old tarot deck, the uh, Deviant Moon Tarot, to see if I can do kind of reading on that. But this one is a little bit different. Um, I feel like the Deviant Moon Tarot deck, which is uh, somewhere on the other side of the room, um, for the moment, I'll have to take a rain check on that because, uh, like, this deck is brand new to me. <laughs> I don't want to do. I don't want to do an upset reading. I'll, I might have to do rain check on that. That is Avi Morgan. Yeah, pretty much what I'm doing today is I'm going through and I'm just reading the the meaning of the tarot cards. Like it's like it's not an actual reading. It's kind of just me saying what the cards mean. And just like showing people the arts and stuff like that. It's basically a very extended unboxing video that I'm doing um, chunk by chunk because there's this <laughs> and there's also the like reading, which isn't like not an actual reading. So um, I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I think uh, I think they're gone. So <laughs> anyway, anyway, I had a feeling that someone would pop on asking for a reading. Uh, also, I don't do readings for free anymore. Um, that's also a thing. I, I do like when I get more people, I might do that again. But for the most part, unless you're an OG story time person, I don't do readings for free anymore. It's just um, it's not very fair to me to like continue to do things, these things for free. Um, and when it's like an actual like skill, you know what I mean? It's kind of like asking like, a random person, hey, can you like fix my sink for free? <laughs> um, so I don't really do that for free anymore. I do have a Fiverr account. If you want to go to my Fiverr account, I do do readings. I think it starts at $20, uh, $20 to $50, depending on your budget. I do work with people's budgets. So if you do, if you want a reading on that, Avi, if you want an in-depth reading on that, I do have a Fiverr account. So but yeah, I, uh, I learned um, there's some tarot people that I know. They say, don't do it for free. <laughs> don't do it. It's a skill. You don't you don't do that stuff for free. Unless you are one of the OGs on here, I will do it for free. But that's that's pretty much it. I'm I'm uh drawing a line in the sand. I gotta respect my uh my talents. So but with that being said, we got us here the uh the moment of truth. And this will be good. So there's the thing. Oh, you know, I don't have the, uh, why is this so sticky? All right. Oh, they smell pretty good, actually. I know these are just Oreos, but you know, they do have the, uh, the what you call So I'm still live, right? I can't see the actual button. And no one's commenting. <laughs> Please let me know that this thing didn't fall apart while I was opening this thing. There we go. Very exciting. Very average looking uh, Oreo. All right. I'm not going to eat this how I would normally eat an Oreo because it is objectively gross. And I don't want to subject you all to that. So I'm going to eat it like a normal person. <laughs> All right, cool. I, I get paranoid that this thing, awesome, just chilling, that this thing shuts off when I'm not looking. So, all right. Hmm. Oh. Okay. This is actually pretty good. So if y'all are curious, it tastes like pumpkin pie, as in it's sweeter, which is good. 
but it also kind of has like a cream cheese. It's like pumpkin pie cheesecake. That's what it tastes like. Very good. I like these. I was afraid that it was going to be um, super spicy. Not spicy, but I hate saying spicy when it's not like. Mary, this tastes like pumpkin pie. Like pumpkin pie cheesecake. Which is even better. So like this is really good. I recommend. 10 out of 10. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> Eat the whole box. <laughs> This is really good. Mmm. Get me in the season. Stay playful. Yeah, this is really good. I was very surprised. I mean, I love Oreos in general, but these are like... I like that. So um, I still have to get the spooky Oreos as well. The um, it's like the regular black Oreos, but they have the uh, orange filling. <laughs> that could be for my only fan. <laughs> it is really nasty how I eat like Oreos. <laughs> Apparently. People eat them certain ways. Like, I eat them in a civilized way, but, like, I break it apart, and then I, like, take off. <laughs> I remove the middle part, and I eat that first, and then I eat the Oreo. <laughs> the actual Oreo. <laughs> oh, man, it tastes really good. With the pumpkin spice coffee. This is a good... I made good choices today for my palate. So. Oh my god, that is so good. Good choices, y'all. Good choices. All right. It's only $4. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't get, like, name brand stuff too much anymore. Like, the popular name brand stuff anymore. Because things are so expensive. And I'm just, like, really picky with what I get these days. So I was just like, should I get these? I don't know. But I did decided to be a little gimmicky today. So. Oh, snickerdoodles. That sounds so good. What's the weather like up there and where, where you're at, Mary? Is it starting to cool down yet? I remember when I was in Washington, um, when I was in Seattle, it started getting cooler around September, which is pretty, pretty normal. Um, it was so, like, the fall there, I don't know if you've been to Redmond, Mary, but when I was there during the fall, it was gorgeous. Like, the the tr the way, the color of the trees was just beautiful. It was like the gold, the auburn, the reds, all those beautiful colors. And the leaves are bigger so that when you, like, when they fall on the ground, you're, like, crunching them on the ground. It was great. It's, like, perfect. Okay, I was right. We are doing pentacles today. Pentacles, pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so I've been kind of obsessed with pentacles when the, within the past few months. Um, a little bit obsessed <laughs> with material gain. Um, so it's not bad. I mean, I not necessarily a bad thing. Just, you know, got to keep an eye on it. So this is in Spanish. Let's see. Wands. Pentacles. I kind of like how it's just on one page. So. I'm in Ellensburg. It was over 100. No, a few days ago, less than 90 today. And instead of 75, only 50 at night. Okay. I like it. So perfect autumn weather for me in a perfect world would be like the high during the day would be 65. And that's the absolute hottest during the day for the fall. And at nighttime, or like the coolest it would be, would be like 45 to 50, I think. I think for me personally, that would be like a good, that's like the ideal temperature range for me in the fall. Fall and spring, I like it when it's cold. 
I do not like warm. <laughs> I like war the warmest spring that I can tolerate is like 75 degrees. And that's really pushing it for me. I don't like the heat very well. Like I like my body, as soon as it gets reaches a certain temperature, my body just explodes in the flames and it just hates it. <laughs> um, I mean, this summer I've been keeping it. I've been doing a good job of running like three fans in my room or the swamp cooler. <clears throat> um, just keep myself cool. But, you know, ideally, autumn is the best time of year for me. But here, it's like it's not even that cool. It's like I remember last year in November, like middle of November, it was like 70 degrees in the, in the daytime. And I'm just like the sun over here is relentless. It just doesn't stop. So. <laughs> uh, what about you, Anthony? What's the fall like in Tennessee? I'm kind of curious about that. I have a feeling that it wouldn't be very, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it depends on the elevation. I think elevation has a lot to do with it. But here we go. We are talking about pentacles. I don't even need to do this. I can just take one card because I organized it earlier. So, all right. We're like every other one. We're going to start off with the king of pentacles. No one's on Instagram, but, you know, <laughs> here is the king of pentacles. So let's see. A person who recognizes, picks, and displays the best harvest with riches and abundance to go around. The king of earthly endeavors and wealth. So um, rich guy. In the um in the Deviant Moon deck, the King of Pentacles is actually a businessman. Um, which is really interesting because uh the picture on that one. The pentacles are kind of like the, it looks like the industrial revolution. You got factories and stuff like that. And again, it's not necessarily seen in a bad light, but it's very like, um, oh, colors galore. I like that. Bees feel so beautiful. I love that. See here out in the desert. <laughs> Things kind of stay the same color year round. I mean, there are like one of the trees in my backyard is starting to turn yellow. I don't know if it's because a certain branch is dead, though. That might be the case. <laughs> but yeah, they turn yellow in my yard because we have deciduous trees, the, the non-needly ones. Um, we don't have any pine trees in my yard, um, which is kind of nice because I prefer the deciduous trees and how they change and everything like that. So. I prefer that. Got to have a little bit of fall, you know. Actually, yeah. yeah, I am looking forward to the the cooling temperatures. At least so it's not ninety degrees. That'd be nice. At least by October, you know, when my birthday rolls around, I like to have a birthday that it's at least seventy degrees. I mean, sixty-five would be great, but you know. With, with the climate going on right now, I can only hope for so much. All right, now we got Queen of Pentacles. Now, Queen of Pentacles is a person who tends to the beauty and fertility of the finer things in life and causes abundance to only grow by her presence in the lush, blossoming gardens of this earthly plane. The Queen of Abundance, Manifold, and Bounty. It's very cool. So yeah, Pentacles is basically all about like material things like wealth, um, financial stability. Um, and I think it also has to do with your physical health too, kind of like uh, stuff like that. What you doing? Rims on the floor, he's slipping my shoes. Um, we got Knights of Pentacles. I always find it cool that the Knights are like, like always like, um, what's it called? Writing something. It's cool like that. Oh. So, <clears throat> a person who works in the field with sweat and determination to plant the seeds of tomorrow's harvest day. 
Through hard work, grit, intensity, and sheer determination, the knights have earthly pursuits and financial endeavors. So. so this is the get her done card. Nice. I like it. What? What's looking at? Such a random stream today. I am very happy that I got those uh, cookies. I'm gonna hopefully uh, I'm gonna put them in like a airtight container so I won't demolish them in like three seconds. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. A person who is still sifting through the brambles and bushes to identify the perfect seeds to plant in their life so that they may one day have a harvest. The page of identifying goals and setting the stage for future endeavors. Okay. So you kind of like these ones. It's kind of dead over on Instagram today. There's nobody, no one's saying hi. I kind of got that thing figured out for my, um, it's still a little wobbly. I can't really fix it that well. Oh, well. It's okay. No one's here today. <laughs> okay. Now we're doing Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity presents itself. New job, new finances, new look, new you. It is time to get down to business and grow your empire. So yeah, all of the aces in the pages are very similar. It's kind of like beginnings, starting fresh, uh, kind of like the fool in some ways. All right, two of pentacles. Does life seem like a bit of a balancing act? You are juggling your many earthly endeavors and responsibilities. Steady as she goes. Just keep a steady hand. Don't overwhelm yourself. Keep the balance. Work-life balance. <laughs> like that. Work-life balance. That's a 2020 saying that people in the uh, 2050s are going <laughs> to bring back. Actually, everything comes back every 20 years, so probably the 2040s. Work-life balance. Okay. Three uh, pentacles. Feeling creative? Get physical and do what you do best. You are more than capable of the task at hand. There is no rest for the wicked witch. There's a lot of Jesus imagery in these things, I just realized. <laughs> Lots of random, like... I don't know. It's not that necessarily that I'm offended, but it's kind of like... Everything else in there makes sense, but like the Jesus does not really make that much sense. <laughs> oh, cool. I just got my first tarot deck. Awesome. The knight and page are prince and princess to be more gender balanced. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, usually, like, I kind of, it would be really cool if there was, like, if the page was like gender neutral, so like it could be like, I don't know. I I prefer gender neutral stuff, but like, I, I know a lot of these, again, I said this, I think like a few weeks ago when I first started like opening this deck, but it's a lot of like, there's the divine masculine, divine feminine, which is like very prevalent in the like Wiccan um, ideologies and stuff. Just like not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just like, it doesn't really ring true for me it, it just feels kind of like it feels kind of weird so that's cool you got the uh the deck that you got what kind of de what, what's the name of the deck try not to eat the cookies i'm gonna savor those cookies i'm gonna keep them in the airtight i'm gonna get a cookie jar and i put them in the cookie jar so they can stay fresh for the rest of the season <laughs> Okay, now we got four of pentacles. You have built an empire, and you are holding on to the benefits of what you have built. Nearly unshakable, a stabilizing force. 
True Heart Tarot deck. I'll have to look that up later. Yeah, there's um, I, I if I had like I do have the money, but I need to save it for my sailing trip. <laughs> but if I had like more money, I would be getting so many tarot decks. It would be ridiculous. I'd have a whole shelf of tarot decks and wands and stuff like that and crystals and all the esoteric stuff. Definitely would have way more. But I'm trying to be good with my money. So. My wife had some key line cookies that were super soft to the point they're now just powder. Okay, key lime. Okay, that's what I thought. Feel like doing cookie lines. <laughs> key lime cookie lines. Say that five times fast. Oh god, I love the key lime flavor. I mean, I only eat that during the summertime because lime to me is like a summer flavor. But I really like it. Key lime is so good. Uh, key lime pie, key lime. What are those things? They're like. Oh man, they're like cookies, but they're fudgy cookies. They're really good. Yeah, lime is good. Good stuff, yeah. Is a meringue? I don't know. Do they do they even do lime meringue? Was I going crazy? Because there's somebody a long time ago who I knew who would just like they made a key lime meringue with like lime gummies on the top and then the freaking like super whipped like whipped cream. God, that's it was so good. <laughs> ah, meringues. Desserts are the best thing. I just desserts are one of the uh, the best things in life. That's all we gotta say. So yeah, I want to say it was a meringue. It, it just had that like it was it was the extra whipped, and then the the actual filling was kind of like jelly a little bit, um, from what I remember. I, I've never I never made that kind of a pie. Like I, I've made different kinds of pies. Um, I bake sometimes, <laughs> uh, very rarely for myself anymore, and especially no baking in the summertime. But uh, I do bake occasionally, and I've made pies. I made a very delicious coffee punk cake that I need to find the recipe for again because that thing was just chef's kiss. I, that was the best thing that I've ever made in my entire life, like objectively good because everybody – I made it for – I was a teenager, and I made it for my parents' church. It was devoured by the time that I got in line. There was one piece left, and I got one piece of the cake that I made. <laughs> Yeah, meringue. Yeah. Some meringues are fine. Like, I like the lime meringue and the lemon meringue. I don't know if there's any other kinds. Those are the ones that I like, but yeah, they're pretty good. So. All right, where were we? Okay, we got the five pentacles. A rough season for finances. The <coughs> <coughs> Start over for that. All right. The loss of investments or poor health. Seeking refuge with those who are in a position to give. There is strength in numbers. So in this, in the other deck, it was a little bit more grim. Surprise. Um, but basically, it was this person who was a, I don't know if I could say this word on Facebook, but a, a person of ill repute. And that was the image on the card. And it was very sad. And they are just like a destitute person. Um, and they were seeking help outside of a chapel. So that's the, that was the other one. Um, and I kind of like the imagery on that one. It's a little bit more like this one. It's kind of like, I guess it's pretty sad. You got a homeless person. Yeah. Meringue cookies. Oh, maybe that was the thing that I was thinking about earlier. Trader Joe's sells some good, but not like from a fresh bakery. Yeah, you can't beat the bakery stuff. Yeah, I remember the, uh, there was a German bakery where I used to live in California. Very good stuff. All right, six of pentacles. Share the wealth. 
Charity and balance, a transaction, a time to allow finances to change hands for the greater good. Don't be afraid to be generous with others. So yeah, this is the advice in these cards, like in tarot in general. It's very like, there's like helping yourself so that you can help others. It's really nice because, you know, the other cards leading up to number six was like work on yourself, better yourself, um, build your own financial like stability. And then you can like kind of like give that back to the community type thing. So uh, through the use of generosity, which is really nice. So I think throughout all the tarot decks that I've I've come across so far, that's like um, that's what I've noticed. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. We got seven of pentacles. A time of waiting. Be patient. You may feel a little stir crazy or antsy, but what but waiting is all part of the process. Take comfort in knowing this is in uncertain times. And don't we all know that right now is an uncertain time? This is the card for everyone right now <laughs> for the past two years. Oh my God. Crazy. All right, I think we got three more cards. We got eight of pentacles. Now is the time to press forward and put your hands to good use. You will read the benefits. Here it is all about the journey and the destination. Both are equally satisfying. Yeah, and the other one, the Eight of Pentacles, there was um, kind of like attention to detail, kind of like working, but like put your best foot forward when you're working. Um, just kind of like enhancing your skill using your skills to the best of your ability to uh, produce a fine product. This is what I'm doing right now. More on that later. <clears throat> All right, two more cards. So nine of pentacles. Enjoy beauty. Slow down. Indulge. Embrace life and dance. Joy is yours. And it is time for a little R&R. &R. Rest the body and rejuvenate. Yeah. I don't remember that being on the last deck. <laughs> I forget what the Nine of Pentacles is in the uh, Deviant Moon Tarot. Could be something completely different. So it's been a while. All right. We've reached the end with Ten of Pentacles, and I believe, uh, well, I'll just read it. The culmination of the pentacle suit finds you in bounty and wealth, a household, a great and beautiful mansion with all the delights and responsibilities that go along with it, family life, your legacy, structure, and plenty. So this is the last of the suit of pentacles next week. It'll be wands, and that'll complete the jack o lantern tarot. All right, y'all, so it's 1234 right now in Albuquerque. I got plenty of time. There was a couple of things that I wanted to discuss. Um, but before I move on, you have any questions about this tarot deck before, while I'm packing away stuff? <clears throat> I haven't checked my uh, Storytime of Arden uh, YouTube channel in a while. I do upload there weekly. Just I just want... Um, Basically, I just want YouTube to know that I exist and that other people should know that I exist. So, Also, if you do follow me on uh, YouTube, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. <laughs> I got to say that, you know, you know, the uh, like and subscribe. Okay. We got a few things that I want to talk about. Pretty good things come my way. Um, so right now, I'm working on my 2022 Halloween special. This year, due to um, me being busy with my day job, I'm, I'm, some, I'm <clears throat> publishing a short story to Amazon. Uh, usually, I would have published a novel or something or a short story collection, but, you know, 
uh, life got in the way, but that's fine because this is a good short story. It's something that I've been wanting to publish for a couple of years now. And basically it's uh, it's called Muro's Secret. And it's about a little boy with spider eyes riding a tricycle in a town with one street that goes in a giant, like a circle, like a loop. Um, these people are kind of trapped in this town since the day that they were born because there's this giant wall that pretty much wants to eat them. So that's that's pretty much the story. There's a friend, Herdera, hello, on over there on Instagram. Hello. We just got done talking about the uh, jack-o'-lantern tarot. I'm not doing readings today. I'm just showing y'all. It's kind of like an unboxing, just to let y'all know on Instagram. <laughs> Not doing readings today, um, but if you would like a reading, I do have a Fiverr account, Varden Frias, on Fiverr.com, and I do readings there. I think it starts at twenty dollars, uh, twenty dollars for half an hour, and like fifty dollars for like an hour. Um, I can answer a whole range of questions, and I have three, two decks to work with. So if that's that's something that you uh would find useful, check it out. I gotta put my link tree inside my inside of one of my Instagrams because like they don't let you put a, a bunch of like websites in your bio. They only let you do one. The link tree would probably be better. But yeah, anyways, that's my uh, Halloween special for 2022. I tried to release one every year since 2019. I've been pretty uh, pretty consistent with it. Just like good sign. Oh, I like that. But basically, that is what I will be submitting this year is Muro's Secret. It's about, I, I want to say, 3,000 to 5,000 words. I'm about halfway done with the editing. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's, uh, it's Of all the stories that I've submitted, I mean, I do have a lot of Halloween vibes. I do have dark spectrals way over there that I can't show off to people right now. But yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty excited about that. So I'm going to be Again, long time in the making for this short story. I've been wanting to write it for a while. There's a lot of references, which is not really normal for me. Um, a lot of the times I make references like to pop culture. I, I just don't usually. But this one has a lot of references. But it's kind of like very subtle references. Kind of like the sweater that the main character wears. His name is Josefo. The sweater that Josepha wears looks kind of like the sweater that Freddy Krueger Kruger, Kruger wears. <clears throat> so there's that. And there's also like, there's parts that are inspired by the movie. What is it called? It's not a horror movie necessarily. It's like a, uh... oh, hi, Lucas. Awesome. Just talking about a uh, story that I'm going to publish in a, uh... Well, it's for my Halloween special. It's like a short story. It's like a, it's about a kid who lives in a town that's a one street. It's like a circle, and uh, there's a big wall around him, and it might eat people. So, is that? <laughs> oh man, I've been wanting to write this thing for years, though. But yeah, that is on my. That'll be available on Amazon. I'm hoping to finish the edits sometime this week or in the upcoming week. I, I just don't want to like, I want it available by my birthday, which is up October 2nd. So just want it available by then. So, uh, <laughs> okay. One thing. Okay. If you, if y'all ever get me a birthday present, obviously it's not required, but if you want to get me a birthday present, get the short story or, and I'm going to definitely post about it like or share react to it anything that gives the posts about my my story engagement i will be happy with because <laughs> my stuff does not get a lot of traction on facebook I, i'm just gonna be honest i mean i don't spend a lot of time on facebook and i don't like participate a lot on facebook and that's kind of you know it's my fault but like still it would be nice to get a little bit of traction on facebook um I don't know what my Facebook game is. I, I literally just come on here to interact with um, with my OG storytime people, with friends. Uh, that's pretty much just to stay in, in contact with certain people because all the people I, I interact with on TikTok or Instagram, they're new. 
and they're just on those platforms. They're not, well, some, some people overlap, but it's not like the audiences on there are very, um, I want to say this separate, okay. very different audiences on each platform. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of overlap, but it's the only overlap that I'm seeing are people that I know directly on like, like basically you guys are the only interrupts and it's because I know you all personally. So like, that's pretty much the only overlap, um, which is fine. I, I don't mind that, but it's like, it's kind of funny because like the whole Facebook thing, I've been telling y'all for a long time that my Facebook game is kind of like, you know, what is going on? Wanted to know if my baby made will come back soon after her leave or come later after a month. I'm not sure who's this. Bernadette. All right, Bernadette, let me, I need to explain something. Um, there may have been a misunderstanding, which is my fault. Um, but I'm not doing actual readings today. This is the tarot deck that I'm doing. I'm doing, I'm looking at the cards and telling people what the cards are. If you would like a reading, I have a Fiverr account. Um, you can look up Varden and Freeze on Fiverr.com and I do readings there. Um, I just, I just decided not to do actual readings on this thing. Like, again, I'm sorry if that was a misunderstanding. Um, Okay, th thank you for understanding, but I'm sorry that was a misunderstanding on my part. Again, uh, I'll, I'll try to make that more clear in the future. But um, I don't do free readings anymore. I only do free, free readings for specific people these days. I just, you know, I, I, need, I need the dough. I need the cheddar. I can't, like, give away my uh, talents for free. It's not, it's not fair to me. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, again, in the future, I'll make that more clear for people who are just coming in randomly. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my fault. Sorry about that. Yeah, I can't, I used to do free readings and people would come up to me in my DMS on Instagram and be like, Oh, can you answer this question? And I'm just like, it takes time and it takes energy to do these readings, to do a real reading. And I want to do well. And I don't want, first of all, I don't even know this deck very well. I'm learning this deck as I'm speaking right now. This is me learning a deck and practicing in front of people. Um, I used to practice, and I probably still will, uh, with uh, tarot, uh, tarot streams, but I don't want to like make it to where random people come in and just kind of use my services for free. That's not very fair for me. So, But again, like I'll make sure that like I make it more like more clear that I'm uh, not doing that. So, But again, on Fiverr, definitely on Fiverr, please. Please give me the business. <laughs> if you want to help fund my uh, my Salem trip, please give me the business. Because <laughs> I'm oh I'm actually in between jobs right now. My um, I don't know if you all know, but I'll update everybody. So on last Wednesday, my job campaign stopped. I have no idea if I'm going back. My uh, my supervisor told me he told me that there's a high likelihood that I could come back. Um after september 12th but you know it's up in the air so i've been sending out applications to places my fiverr is up and running so if you um if y'all know anybody literally anyone who would be remotely interested in the stuff that i do which is i do book covers i do formatting for books i can show y'all the format let me get my books so i can show the formatting i'll be right back because i need that money Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to have COVID, I swear. Okay. Ah, oh, this is so crazy. I, I put this stuff so close to the wall. That's my fault, though. All right. So I do interior book formatting. Uh, I did not do this cover. Somebody else did. Uh, but I did the interior formatting for these books. Let's see. I did that. I can do that. 
this book, this entire book I did, all I, it was all me. I did the cover, I did the back cover, I did the spine, I did all that. So if you know anyone who is interested in this kind of art style, I would definitely be happy um, to recommend that. Also, this is the internal formatting. Page number. So yeah, I, I can do all that on my Fiverr. I can do cover art that looks like this style. If you know anyone in the Bizarro community as well, I would love to make a Bizarro cover. So. And I formatted this. This is actually more proud. So I did that. That's all me. So yeah, I, I would love to get paid this kind of stuff. So if you all know anybody, literally anyone. I did that, all this. That was very hard for me, but I did it, and I'm so proud of myself for being able to do that. Um, and of course, picture is way too big, <laughs> but I made that as well. So, I made that picture as well. So, using uh, not Photoshop, but uh, Canva of all places. So, yeah, those are also books that you could purchase. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty much that's um, that's kind of stuff that I do. One of the things that, uh, again, internal formatting, um, book cover design. Um, I can also beta read. Let's see what else I can do. Um, I also make art. If you guys want art commissions, um, I do. Uh, I do some digital art. I do. Uh, I paint bottles with oil paints. I have one of those. They're way over there. Um, I, uh, I also do, oh, man, there's all my promo stuff when I need it. Um, I also do, uh, I made, <laughs> I don't have it with me. Um, God, there are some, like, all the stickers and stuff that I need. Okay, I'll, I'll drop the links later. But basically, there's a lot of stuff that I want to make money off of, like a decent income off of. So many things. So, again, if you know anybody, just, like, hit me up and say, like, connect us, you know, so we can talk to those people. So I know one of you, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, somebody hired me to be a map maker. So that's a lot of fun. Looking forward to that project as well. So uh, it's 1249. All right. So that's anybody got any questions about like just anything, basically. I'm open to any kind of conversation just as long as it's not controversial. Don't ask me what I think about Mucky Boss. <laughs> oh yeah, you all know. You all know me. I know everybody in here right now. Instagram's kind of dead, so that's fine. Um I, I'm pretty I'm pretty hip with talking about the uh the hip things. So I I'm, I'm trying to be a really cool person on TikTok. <laughs> my TikTok game, oh my TikTok is a whole like it's silly. But it's the kind of silly that I find very entertaining and fun. It's a nice kind of break from like the, because you know, like when you write, the creation process is awesome. But when you got to do the editing, at least for me, it is not as fun. So it's like, it's a nice break to go on TikTok, make a silly video of myself going, la, 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 and then like go back to the editing, kind of like refreshed and like ready to go, ready to do that crunch work. Um, yeah, I, I just want to do all kinds of things that uh i yeah you know, i don't really in an ideal world i would not go back to that job but i do need to so and i know times are tough financially which is why also in an ideal situation i would want people to come and watch my videos and my streams and with no strings attached just watch me talk for an hour and me get sponsored by somebody <laughs> I don't care who sponsors me at this point. <laughs> I just want to get a damn sponsorship. 
seriously, I, I really want a sponsor. Like, a sponsorship would be an ideal situation for me. Because, like, you guys could be like, even if you don't, like, buy stuff from me, like, at least I'll get the money from the ads. <laughs> so, like, there's no, I don't like putting pressure on people to, like, buy stuff from me. Um, again, I always am so appreciative of any help that I can receive from anybody. Um, but, like, at the end of the day, I don't want to be like, please buy my things. I don't know. I just don't like, uh, I don't really like that too much. So. Oh, people on Instagram. Hello, Jolly Claws and Ghosty Face. Hi, y'all. And they, they're gone. <laughs> I acknowledge y'all on Instagram. All right. All right. I'm going to stop having a pity party. All right. Um, let's see here. No questions from y'all. It's 12.52. I, I might cut the stream short. Let me see if I have any any other news in my life. Okay, we got those things going on. I do want to submit some stuff. Uh, oh, I have a Bizarro short story that I'm going to submit to Planet Bizarro for this uh, for this quarter. Because I do the, the magazine for Planet Bizarro is quarterly magazine. So it'll be fun. Can submit. Um, it's already finished up. Just need to edit it. I need to submit it in by October first, which is um, less than a month away. I got plenty of time at the moment. I have plenty of time, so like I'm not too uh, not too worried. But again, from here on out for the rest of the year, it's going to be pretty pretty busy uh, for me because I got the uh, I got the uh, side hustles, the eight million side hustles that I'm doing. But I also want to like I might go back to work, and if I go back to work, I'm going to be a trainer. Trainers get more hours and get more money. More money is good, but I'll be very busy. So, you know, it's a balance, I guess. So, but anyways, Instagram people and only Instagram people, I will see you next week. You guys have a great, lovely Sunday. Instagram and video. Share. Okay. Gotta make a nice cover for all the Instagram people. So. Half of this thing is my face looking like it was bleached by the sun. <laughs> and I don't know why. Like, this thing, like, doesn't work too well. I just want to, I just got to say. <laughs> Man. Uh, I got to pick a still. At the end of an Instagram live, you have to pick a still with your face on it. I'm trying to pick, like, a nice one, and all of them are, like, really like weird images of me sure cool all right all right so the live is shared on that the uh instagram is pretty much all done y'all on facebook i got a few more minutes i don't know who's in here just a little bit of uh you know what i'll do that later okay Mary says, thanks for the show. Thank you so much for coming, Mary. I'll message you with more info on my tarot deck. Yes, please. That would be so cool if we could uh, look at... Uh, I also got another tarot deck that I'm... It's my it's my secret tarot deck that I could, uh, I could share. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, but, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to call it good. Um, my voice, again, is running dry. So, y'all... Y'all have a great weekend, and I hope everybody has a great day. Again... Those Oreos, 10 out of 10, so I uh, would recommend. And also, I'll drop the links to my Fiverr and everything else. Um, again, if like if you know anyone, um, or if just like, like the post, like, share, literally any interaction at all, just like post, <laughs> put a gorilla gif on it, I don't care, <laughs> just as long as I get some interaction. That would mean the world to me. If y'all, I don't know if I say this enough, but like if I post something that's like, me um promoting myself a like a share literally anything helps me so much so like if y'all could do that i would be really appreciative um again i know a lot of y'all do just a reminder so all right i i've i've jabbed enough i'll let you guys have a great weekend and bye-bye so